Hello. In today's video, we are going to talk about a new function in Power BI called a substitute. So as usual, let's go to the Microsoft documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement it with the help of an example. So here is the definition. It replaces existing text with a new text in a text string. And the syntax here, substitute, this is the column reference, the old text, the new text, and how many times it needs to be replaced, instance number. Okay, it takes four parameters. So now let's quickly go to PBI and then with the help of an example, let's see how we can use the substitute function. So I have a very small set of data and I have the company name. So now uh, let's use this column and then see how we can use the substitute function. Let's say I want to replace uh, this particular word or uh, character, let's say bike, with something like a sports store. Instead of wherever, if it's a bike, I want to replace the bike with, let's say, sports store. So how do I do that? So let me create a new column. And then let me call this as substitute example one equal to use the substitute function, the text, that is the column reference in here. So the company name, I want to replace the word bike with, let's say I want to rename it as a sports, instead of a bike store, I want to call it as a sports store. And I want this to be done once, hit enter. As you can see now, the word bike is replaced by the word sports. Is it case sensitive? Let's check that one. So let me make this into a smaller case. Let's see if it works. Yes, it's case sensitive. The word which I'm looking for should exactly match then only it replaces. So let me change this back to the uppercase. You see, it's very much case sensitive. So now let's take another example. Let's say I want to replace the bike and also the bicycle with the word sports. How do I do that? So let me copy this to a new column here. and then call this as example two. So now I know what I get, okay, when I hit enter, I know it replaces and the bike with a sports store. So now if I want to replace this bicycle also with the sports, I can write a nested substitute. So substitute this text, replace this, uh, the whole text, the one which you need to search for is bicycle. And then I want to replace this with, again, I want to replace this with sports. Number of instance, let's say I want this to be one, maybe once, if, if you have two times, right? Let's say a great bicycle company and bicycle, it replaces only the first instance. It doesn't go to the second. And that's why I have named it as one. If I input this as two, it'll go to the second, uh, it'll replace the second word as well. So let me close the brackets, hit enter. If you notice here, it changed, right? The bicycle also changed to sports. So we can use something like this uh, nested function, like a nested, and then try to replace the word which we need. And it's very much case sensitive. So make sure you have the right case. It should be exact match. This is how substitute function works in Power BI. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.